Sherry and Mutaki and the children's ministry team and all the volunteers who put together the holiday club and the attendance was great and the lives of our children were impacted during the week and we want to thank you as Seven Zealand has done those who came uh, on board when you were requested to give some donations it was great thank you very much my God richly bless you guys this is the last Sunday of June our June series was to uh, another dimension of purpose but also we know in South Africa this month is youth month so throughout the week we were challenged about our purpose and also we preached from uh, Genesis 37 from verse 5 a young man Joseph who had a dream from God right so through this month we were challenged and I believe in your connect groups also the theme of purpose was uh, discussed these guys are going to play a very short video clip and by that we are saying even if your parents did not plan you but God has a purpose for your life watch the video clip
and million family metaphors. Now the Bible uses a metaphor of rebirth to explain who we are. John 3 verse 3, Jesus answered and said to him, Nicodemus, most assuredly I said to you, unless one is born again, you cannot see the kingdom of God. Now, Jesus uses the metaphor of rebirth. Nicodemus was confused. I'm an elderly man. How can I go back? And he says, unless you are born from above, you cannot inherit the kingdom of God. Now, once you are born in the kingdom of God, just like when a baby is born, they cannot survive by themselves. They are brought into the human family. Now, you cannot survive as a Christian. Your purposes cannot be realized if you are a loner, if you are not brought into the family of God. Now, by brought, I don't mean coming to church, sitting, praise, worship, listen to the word and go, but be actively brought in the name of Jesus. You will not. is 
a learner. A disciple is a student learned from Jesus. As John Maxwell says, the first thing is to discover yourself. The second thing is to just give yourself. Make an unselfish contribution in the lives of other people. We have recalibrated our discipleship program. Now, this is the old one that we had. Step one, step two, step three. But the new one that we will launch very soon is we start with uh, discover. You discover yourself. Make sure that you are not only a religious person, but you have encountered Jesus as Savior and Lord. The second step is to connect. Make sure that you are connected. This ministry that you are doing, you belong to a connect group, but also you grow in Christ. You become a disciple of Christ. Lastly, you serve. So, discipleship will lead you to service. It will lead you to serve Christ. But you cannot serve if you are not grown up. If you are not matured in the Lord, you cannot serve. There are many Christians who are growing old but not growing up. You are to grow up. You are to be deep in the things of God. Yes, you can grow in will, but you must grow in depth as well. I was giving a lecture, University of Ratboat, Neymar, in Holland, the Netherlands. I was talking about Christianity in Africa. And I proved through scientific and political research that the church in Africa is growing. And the church in North America and Europe is plateauing or declining. You can't find statistics, you can't find scientific and political research that the church is growing. But these students ask me that if the church is growing in Africa, why are you guys still exporting pens? Why do you still have corruption? Is the church not impacting society? They ask me, why are you guys still accounting for 75% of AIDS cases in the world? What is the church doing? And I'm saying to them, yes, the church is growing in Africa. It is growing in wheat. The church is broad in Africa, but the church is not deep enough when we are
your purpose becomes propelled. Jesus has made a difference in our lives. And because Jesus has made a difference, we have no business of being quiet about what Jesus has done in our lives. Jesus, we can see him from the first book to the last book of the Bible. We can witness of who he is in the book of Genesis. He is the seed of the world. Thank you. 